Hey, Cancers, welcome back to the channel, Fire Falcon Tarot. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize it was already counting. That's why I'm sitting here all nonchalant, drinking my water and shit. Um, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a new love for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. The message is general. It may, may or may not resonate. If you're new to the channel, Cancers, welcome. If you return to the channel, welcome. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, but let's see what's happening here with your new love for January 2024. Something kind of different. I usually don't do new love, but let's see. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Hope everybody's well, doing well, feeling well. New love for my cancers. What's going on with cancers for new love? New love. All right. So past energy shows up. Cancers. I I don't I don't have no control over that. But take what resonate, leave what doesn't. All right. That's all I can tell you guys. All right. Uh, we got attraction here. Ooh, who you? Who you trying to kiss on? It says you will attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like you guys are just, you know, intentionally uh, being a bad, a bad chick or a bad boy, whatever. Ooh, we got reconciliation here, Randy, for that here. So someone from your past just might be... Um, so if you guys are all of a sudden starting to think about someone from your, your previous situation here, then this person is uh, manifesting you, okay? Um, so you may hear from someone from your past cancer, I don't know, or vice versa. Roles definitely can be reversed. Uh, but with reconciliation here, we have someone from your past is returning to your life. So take what resonates again, guys. Leave what doesn't. That was right beneath it. So right beneath attraction. So what that telling me is that this person still finds you attractive. Now, whether you still find this person attractive here, I don't know. But we got a flirt here. It says extend your lighthearted energy to others. So y'all might be flirting with somebody else while somebody from y'all past has still got eyes on you. So keep that in mind, Cancer. <clears throat> It says, uh, it says, let your friends help you. It says, ask for help from others. So you guys could be asking other people, like, you know, should I go back to so-and-so? Should I revisit that? Or should I move forward? I mean, if you're asking others, I'm going to say move forward. All right? It ain't work out for a reason. That's kind of where I be at with it. But do what you will. It says, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith here. So... I don't know, Cancer. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess I could revisit something. Um, like, if it, if it didn't involve, like, any cheating or any, like, you know, somebody, you know, basically embarrassing you and making you look like a fool, uh, then I could see, that, you know, you kind of hearing this situation out or seeing this situation out or whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, but if it was anything, like, what I the opposite of what I just explained then it's a no but you you know you, you do what you will I, I feel like you guys are <laughs> yeah, that was explosive here very explosive and I ain't gonna tell you what I just thought about Jesus <laughs> forgive those thoughts Lord <laughs> oh my god alright <clears throat> so we have five here uh, okay. So there's some kind of significant change that is going to be happening for you guys. Okay, somebody could be a life path number five. This change in energy could shift for you guys within the next eight weeks, okay? Or three to five days. Take it how it resonates, all right? Somebody could be a life path number three, too. Um, number three, not three, two. All right, just saying number three. All right, it says being true. It says, I am true to myself and others. I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have confidence in who I am. I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide or prove anything. I replace shame with power and love of truth. All right. So I don't know if y'all were trying to like prove yourself to other people. Um, it just kind of gives me like a people pleasing energy is what I get from it honestly but i feel like you guys are realizing that you know what I, I don't have to validate myself with any anything or for anyone i feel like you know the person that's gonna be the one that's for you is the person that's gonna accept you how you are you know they're not gonna judge you for anything they're just gonna love you how you are so that's kind of what i'm getting off of that and i feel like this situation here i feel like y'all were having to go 
Buzz Lightyear on mofos. Like, really, like, you know, buy people love, buy people interest, buy people attention, chase after them, you know, pull, like, all kind of magic tricks. And I feel like this person still didn't see you. And it's like, that's super exhausting and super selfish of the other person. And I feel like you guys shouldn't have to, you know, do all of that. And I feel like the right person is genuinely going to see you and that energy is going to be reciprocated. All right. So that's what I'm getting here, guys. It says learning to love myself. Absolutely. It says I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in my nature and potential. It says I transform my weaknesses into strengths. I realize that I am being I am being of the light and I allow myself to shine. So It's a beautiful card right there for real. Um but I mean the the card said it all, you know. It's like Instead of chasing behind another person and putting that energy into someone else, I feel like you guys are like, wait a minute, why am I not putting that energy into me? Why am I not loving me? Why am I not trying to date me? Why am I not, you know, buying me, you know, a new car? Why am I not paying for a new pair of shoes for me? Whatever you guys were doing for other people, right? I feel like you guys are now realizing like, yo, I'm, I've been tripping. I need to put this energy into me. And it's like when you guys put that energy into yourselves and essentially that's going to raise your vibration and it's also, also going to allow you guys to attract someone that does the same shit. You know, not a user. This person, you know, has their own put, put you know, puts into themselves uh, financially stable, mentally stable, you know, all of the above, whatever. You know what I mean? But that's what you guys are going to attract. Um... Because right now, you're attracting likeness, and the likeness of you right now is takers, you know, low vibrational people, people that aren't, again, you got to fight tooth and nail to, like, you know, see this person, and it's like, it's like, like I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore, and it's like, you know, I know, because I, 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 I know, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like, I know, so that's how I can tell you guys about not to do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because people like that, it's like their ego gets the best of them, and it's like they don't really, they don't never really fully understand until like you completely disconnect, you completely sever ties, and it's like it's okay because it's like that person didn't even value or see you or treat you such as when you were trying to do so much, right? And it's like now when you eliminate that person altogether, um, yeah, they'll come back around, but that's up to you to like explain to you to them if you choose i i mean to each his own um why you're not allowing this energy back in even though they may not realize it but it's like is it too late you know because it's like once you do all of that it's like i'm oh, sorry guys i was spitting something it was like i made some other chicken over rice so i had like a piece of rice in my tooth sorry um but it's like you know it's like I don't know. It's like not really an embarrassing feeling. I really don't know how to explain it. It's almost like it's almost like when you just like give in to some something and it, it, it and you don't get rewarded back, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Somebody could be gambling. It's like don't please don't gamble, uh, Lord. Uh, but it's like when you put into something and you get nothing in return. It's like. Some people, I can't even use casino because some people still go, you know, and they don't get nothing. They don't win. But sometimes they win. So, I don't know. I, I, that, that just can't be me. Um, but anyways, it's like, you know, you you put, you invest in something and it's like, you don't get nothing back. And it's like, it kind of like not discourages you, but it just makes you not want to like, it just puts a sour taste in your mouth. I don't know what to really say. But anyway, we got faith here. It says, I am confident I will achieve my goals. It says, I live in the present and I have faith in the future. I firmly believe in what value, what my value within the universe. All right. So again, that's more energy of putting, you know, putting it, putting it back into you, uh, cancers. I like that. I like that a lot um, because you're going to get something very rewarding on the other side of this here. So it's, it's, it's great, guys. It's great. It, we got faithfulness. It says, I commit. I commit to my mind, heart, and will. I am devoted to the needs of my soul. I trust in myself and God and the universe. See, there's a lot of trust here. There's a lot of faith here. 
there's someone that's really realizing that listen, if I just stay if I change me and I hold on to that, you know what I'm saying? That I know I'm gonna be victorious on the other side. So someone is realizing here that hey, wait, wait a minute. I heard about that dog manifestation now. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna put that joint into play right now. So that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing here. Like someone is like, wait a minute. Oh, that's what I gotta do? Okay, okay, okay. Time out. Everything got to go. Shut it all down. Shut it down. Close it. Pack it up. So it's like somebody's like, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me clear this all out. We got inner work. It says, God bring me ideal situations for my inner healing. As I become aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths. I direct my thoughts towards the light and I see the positive side of everything. Stay every. I'm sorry. I see the positive light of every side every stage of my life i'm sorry every side every stage of my life darkness turns into courage thus i get stronger so this 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 confidence that somebody is getting within them so someone's already what i'm getting here is this is what someone did already okay and if this is not what you did already cancer this is what spirit saying that you gotta do or you know ideal steps for you to take so you can get to bringing in this new love that we're about to find out about. So I like that. I like that a lot. All right, listen. So with this flirt card over here, y'all might have flirted and got a dud again, but that's okay. I feel like y'all realized that it was a dud. All right. I feel like y'all realize in the nick of time that it was a dud. Alright, hang on. Hang on, hang on. This looks good, guys. Like, comment, and leave a... Subscribe. Leave a subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Alright. Yeah, because with the being true right on top of the flirt, it's like... I feel like that may have been a low moment, like a weakness moment that y'all might have experienced there. And so that's why I picked up that y'all might have flirted with a dud here, okay? All right, but then y'all realize, wait a minute, I'm not being true to myself here and learning to love myself again here, having faith. Uh, and then faith is backed again by faithfulness and then the inner work. So I feel like y'all realize, like, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. This not really my exit. Hold up. What am I doing? So I feel like y'all realize y'all dated a dud here, okay? All right, that's okay. It's okay. The point is that y'all realize that it was a dud. All right, let's see. What's going on with Cancer and they love? What's the new love for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus? Yeah, <laughs> again. Look, I didn't realize two cards. We got Be Honest and Be Present here. It says, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. See what I'm saying? I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I feel like my cancer was like, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought this was bus B2, but I, I need to be on C5. Yeah, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong bus, or I got off on the wrong stop. It's like, you know, something like that here. Somebody might actually be getting on the wrong bus, or may have actually gotten on the wrong bus. So take it how it resonates. Uh, we got be present though. It says you will attract love by enjoying your life as it is. Whether you are, <laughs> whether wherever you are, it says be all the way there basically. All right, so be present. Don't miss out on the opportunity. If someone's speaking to you just randomly out of blue and it feels good, just go with it. Have a conversation. Um, yeah, because it, that might be the one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what Spirit is saying about be present here. If you guys are not present, then you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss the signs. You're going to miss the synchronicities. You're going to miss the commonalities, you know, or whatever this person that might actually say it. be like, maybe it's something you saw on TV. I don't know. It could be anything. Yeah, past, past, <laughs> past lies. But I feel like we should um, put yourself first always. It says loving yourself make you more romantically attractive here. Because this is kind of continuing the momentum that we already got going here. And it's lining up here. So we got the be honest with the <laughs> be true, right? With the flirt here. So when you're flirting with these people, look beyond the outer beauty is what Spirit is saying as well too. Don't be paralyzed by the breast. Don't be paralyzed by the booty. 
don't be paralyzed by the print from the pants, ladies. Like, or if it's the same relationship person, I don't give a damn what you like. Don't be paralyzed by the the, the parents, right? You got to be real with yourself. Be true and be honest. Is this person spiritually aligned? Does this person believe in, you know, whatever? Does this person pray? Does this person, you know, whatever you, you know, your your your, your necessary you are. <clears throat> But we got put yourself first. It says loving yourself make you mo more romantically attractive. We read that already, right? So that's lining up with the faith here. All right, we're putting yourself first, and that's like not just that's not settling. That's not settling here. All right, but we definitely have someone that not say from your past that may be trying to come back in. But it also could be a past life love as well too. So you guys have to stay optimistic, and you really have to evaluate. But we got reconciliation. Someone from your past is or will be returning to your life soon. All right. So you're going to have to make this choice here soon, Cancers. This past person may be already trying to resurface is kind of what I'm seeing here. Because how the reconciliation is coming up here on top of the light and trust. Okay. So this may be a trick or a... Uh, mm, I don't know if I really want to say trick because I feel like the past person... It's not that they don't love you, but I feel like the past person is an, un an unhealthy love for you, right? Um, it, 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 it has its, 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 its cons, right? And it seems like there's more cons with the love than pros. So that's what I'm picking up here from this past person. Like, yeah, they do love you, but it's an unhealthy love, right? And not say that this person hasn't changed, because there's a possibility that pe people can change, right? I truly wholeheartedly believe in that. But to some degree, I don't know. I feel like this person, yes, again, I do feel like they love you, but I feel like there is like, there's this person still has a hidden motives, sneaky ways about them. They still, they're still crafty. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. They're still crafty here. And I feel like they're only coming back here because this person has gotten a taste of the true bitterness of the world. And what do I mean by that, Leash? Maybe you were helping this person financially. You don't have the help there no more. So this person is biting the bullet, right? They're getting that bitterness here. What if, it, you know, it's like that is what this person is driven by. Um, and not so, so much of the fondness of the heart, if you get what I'm saying. That's what I got, you know, I don't care if you don't like it, cross watcher, and I don't care if you don't like it, cancer, but that's what I'm saying. I'm being honest. My job is to give you, you're here for the, for, you know, not that you're taking advice from me, but you're here because you're looking for solutions, right? You're looking for some type of guidance, some type of, uh, insight per se right so i'm giving my job is to give you the best insight that what i'm seeing here from the current present situation and what i see future based on what spirit wants me to see based on what they want me to tell you so listen don't 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 get nasty with me you, you better take it up with them but that's why they got st stay optimistic is here Right? Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance will bring romance to your life. It says we'll bring romance into your life. It ain't say bring it in from this person. That's why they want you to have faith. <laughs> Alright, the angels are working behind the scene to make this relationship flourish. Alright. Did I show y'all this? I think I did, but I think I might have been quick, but whatever. Alright. Some of y'all, y'all do want this relationship to flourish with this past person. Take it how it resonates. But we have past lives here. It says you have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past lifetime. Hmm. But followed by difficulties at the bottom of the deck. All right, we're not reading it. We're not taking it, but I'm just saying. Y'all take what applies, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, definitely leave a comment. Like, I just, I really want to know, like, what y'all, like, where y'all at with it. But let's see how this person feels about you, Cancer, 
and then we'll get messages from you to them and we'll see how things line up all right what does this person want to say to cancer here let's take a little deeper look here what does this person want to say to cancer this is the hidden truth so let's see mm, i can't be with you is the goddamn truth it did want to come out in the reverse here Mm. Well, I'll be damned. I wasn't expecting that. But then they wonder how you feel. What the fuck? What else does this person want to say to cancer? What else does this person want to say to cancer? I hide my feelings. Oh, this person plays games. I need security. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Cancer, listen to me. Okay. Or not. Or <laughs> don't listen to Leash. <laughs> uh... I don't know what you want. I feel like this person plays games. I mean, I don't really know if I want to hear anything else that this person want to say. Because I kind of want to see. Look, I am not over you. They can't be with you. They hide their feelings. They don't know what you want. When really it's them that don't know what they want. But they put the they place the blame on you. And it's like this person is never wrong. I am not financially stable. What did I say? This person got a taste of bitterness. What does Cancer uh, want to say to this person? What does Cancer want to say to this person here? I could be myself with you. So it's giving me like... It's giving me like this person had head of motives from the beginning. Meanwhile, Cancer, you were like, you were serious. Um, and I feel like this person knows that. And I feel like this person manipulates you in that kind of way. Because I feel like this person, again, their their motive is based off of money. You were based off of your emotions. Um, this could be a fixed sign. It could be an Aquarius here or a Libra. I'm hearing a Gemini as well, too. Mm. Yep. You're saying you still feel the pain. Kind of feel like you realize this person played you. But a part of you is still in denial. Because you're still saying you feel so happy with this person... You do love this person and you feel so drawn to this person. You feel like you can still make things work with this person. <laughs> Look, I didn't even know this card was there. But that I just get that by feeling the energy. This is what I'm feeling. Look, will you ever make things right? You still feel like you blame yourself a little bit partly for the situation here for how things ended. And meanwhile, this person is playing you. Oh, my Lord. And you think you could be yourself with this person. Because, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you weren't in it for any hidden motives. You were with this person because you genuinely feel like you feel something for this person. Meanwhile, this person don't feel shit. This person will shake their ass for the highest person that's throwing the most money. In the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. Because that's what this person is about. That's what their motives are. They're, they're, they're all about money. This person will flirt with whoever. It's right there. Flirt. No, that's way too many. We're not taking that many. They will flirt with whoever. This is why they saying they can't be with you. Yeah, they'll take you back for the time being until they can get somebody else that can replace you again. 
Get it together. Yep, passion. They're going to come in and try to have sex and this that's because that's going to be another part of the chain to like pull you in in further. Mm. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at a present. Enjoy it. Listen, if you give in, do just that. Enjoy it and don't fool for the late night whispers and the early morning eggs and cheese and, and, and spinach and whatever the fuck it is that you like. Alright, get the fuck up out of there. Like, immediately after. Don't sleep over. Don't collect go. Or what is it? Don't pass go. <laughs> well, in this case, look like you. some of y'all might pass go, but don't collect the $200. Mm-mm. 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 You'd be better off going on and giving, giving some plasma or just work a couple extra hours at your job. Like, don't get it from this motherfucker. Because that's what they want. They want to do that. Next thing you know, they got your car. Next thing they you know, I'm trying to tell you, playfulness. <laughs> it says, <laughs> laughter is the best therapy. Have fun. Have some fun together, and remember, love is great is the greatest healer. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's gonna heal you for a moment. Bust your nut and keep it moving. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's just see what come out in the tarot. Let's see. See what I'm saying? King of Wands, King of Cups, Seven of Cups. May the highest bitter win. May the highest bitter win. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And amongst of other people here with the Seven of Cups. Uh, yeah, the Emperor's somewhere down the road. What else on this side here? What else on Cancer side here? Yeah, Page of Wands. This innocent old Cancer. Look at that. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're letting go, though. I feel like you're letting go. I feel like you realize you got the back to this person here. Page of Wands is facing a different direction here. So I feel like Cancer is letting go with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse there. Or this is what spirits are encouraging you to do. Yep, we got the tower here. So, okay. <laughs> Reporting live from Ho, Ho Avenue here. Cancer, if you didn't know, whoever you're dealing with here, they're, they're, they're involved with multiple people here, okay? Um, they literally, um, like I said, the highest bidder here, the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups here, and the King of Cups here. It's like they they playing somebody. They playing two people now plus you, and a few other. They got a few other people here on pause. They got them on pause. Yeah, Seven of Wands in the strength. I mean, Seven of Pentacles in the strength here. It will take a lot. It's going to be a lot when you hear of this or you learn of this, okay, with the tower here. Yeah, I can't make it up. The tower, the two of cups, and the two of swords, followed by the ace of swords, okay? This person is giving to multiple people here. This person probably has a child involved, and this is, you know, they even playing the state for the child. Like, this is some sick ass shit. This person manipulates the state and everything. Like, this person ain't dang. They don't give a fuck. Damn, I need to take a sip on this. Up. Damn. I'm I'm sorry to hear this. You might actually even catch this person. Yeah, look, I picked the cards of the Ten of Cups. There, you may even. I can't make it up. The Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. You might even catch this person in the bed at home. 
if you share a place of residence, this person, or if you go to their house, she, she, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person might be in a high level connection, acting like they've single out here with the eight of swords. Yeah, being a hoe. Uh, oh, oh, I couldn't even get it out. But that's basically what I was trying to say. What fell? Page of Cups in the reverse. Mm. 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 Why the Page of Cups in the reverse here? Yeah, oh, Two of Cups in the reverse. Um... I feel like it's a no that you don't want to make things right or this person doesn't want to make things right because this person view someone views this connection this relationship as a burden they view it as being stressful um they view you as always being a cheater liar whatever it is deceiver they someone sees that if they don't they're about to with the tower that showed up it's going to be revealed here What's the King of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups? Mm, Queen of Pentacles. Mm, somebody got a whole wife hiding at home here. The Hermit, the Knight of Wands, and the Magician here. Someone hides a whole family. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Fool. The World. So maybe you know this person is married. Potentially for some of you guys, if you don't know, there's a strong possibility that this person is married or in a long-term relationship. They may live with this person. So if you follow this person home or something like that, someone's going to learn of something. They're either going to catch somebody in bed with somebody, like literally... So I did see that or someone's going to follow somebody and learn that they got a wife, a family, um, something like that here. The fool card, the eight of wands. Yeah. Why they never answer? Because they are home with their wife. The three of swords. Yeah. And the kids. Okay. That's why they don't answer. That's why they can't take you so certain places here. You are the other person, okay? Secretively. But you know now. What is the two of cups and the page of cups in reverse? <laughs> I can't make it up. The high priestess secretively. Okay? Ace of cups. You are the secret. Sorry. Uh, page of pentacles. Queen of Swords and the Sun. I don't know. They if you got a child with this person, they they that's a, everything is a secret. King and Queen of Swords here. They will disown you in the heartbeat. Death. Ooh. And why you want to deal with this person? Sorry, I'm just making sure I pulled everything for you guys, but this is some. Um, man um and actually i did forget to pull something for you guys so let's pull it now but this is crazy um last deck here what do you guys say about this spirit am i on track here lord have mercy karma balance justice yeah something's getting ready to be balanced here Which will make sense why this person is not financially stable here. Because they got too much shit going on. Disharmony triggers and conflict. Absolutely. They are triggered in disharmony. And they're in conflict with themselves here. Because they're financially uh, burdened and struggling here. Okay. They're struggling to keep this going. They're struggling to take care of a family. They're struggling to take care of mistresses. Or whatever this shit is here. Uh, healing inner child. Okay. Someone definitely needs to heal, heal their inner child here. Guilt, sabotage, action, courage, Jupiter, beginnings. It was kind of pretty much in the reverse here, so 
I feel like you don't want a new beginning with this person or you won't. Yeah, we got self-care and energy. Yeah, we, the Spirit is saying for you guys to go on a healing retreat. Just uh, love yourself, nourish yourself, care for yourself here. You guys are going to be redirected here. This is karma on this person's hand, uh, side here. Yeah, we got decisions here. Spirit is wanting you guys to make a decision about this. I feel like you've, you've been given time to make a decision about the situation. And with the tower that showed up, I feel like there's going to be... It's going to be enforced here, Okay. But it's only for your better good. Remember, it's happening for you and not to you. Because spirit wants you to have better. Yeah, I can't make it up. Separation. Spirit wants you to have separation here. All right, we got chemistry and passion. That sounds like new to me. Um, decisions is definitely always between multiple energies, possibly two. Um, definitely two, but it could be more than two. All right, but I definitely see you guys turning down somebody here. There's not going to be a new beginning with something here. We have the dwarf nose. Someone is ascending here. Separation and longing here. You may be longing for some type of affection is what I'm getting here. So what else about this here for cancer? Suffering past lack masculine here. Someone could be physically in shape or you guys could be taking the time to get yourselves physically in shape. We have reflections and we got projects, okay? We have past lack and suffering as well, too. Please don't break any mirrors. I feel, I find broken mirrors like to be so creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Wow, 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 wow. Um, Man, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else on this side for this person? Or the energy over on the left? The left is the Seven of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the right side is more... Seems like someone is realizing here they've been being played here, and I feel like someone's realizing that they need to let this go. Yeah, we got Fulfillment, and we have Wish. Someone could be going to the beach. I love the beach. I love swimming. I love anything that involves water. Um, we got Present, Abundant, and Gratitude. Yep. Definitely Healing. All right, so there could be multiple people that is realizing that they were a part of this scheme that this person was running. Sorry, that was loud. Anything else for over here? Guarded and vulnerable at the bottom of the deck here. We have party and we got external here. That was the problem. This person wanted to party here. We got seeds in the spring. So this spirit may be getting this person together. We do have inner child healing here. So this person may have um, became accustomed to partying. And maybe that was something they were used to growing up. I'm not really sure. But that's what I have for you guys. New love, sun, moon, rising, and our Venus. Catch you guys on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.